West Red Lake Gold put out two news releases in the last week, so let's take a few minutes to run through what those were all about. On January 20th, we announced results from the from our definition drilling work in the McVeigh zone. Now, there were some very nice results in this batch, including 45.7 grams per ton gold over almost 4 meters, 45 grams per ton gold over 1.5 meters, 51 grams per ton gold over 3 meters, 8.8 .8 grams per ton gold over 16 meters, and 33 grams per ton gold over 3 meters. Now, there's strong gold mineralization in many parts of the Madsen mine, but these numbers are particularly good. And there's a reason for that. McVeigh is the most geologically complex part of the gold system. It's seen more fluid movement and folding than other parts of the system, which is why it has such high grades in places. That's also why the prior operator had trouble at McVeigh. Now, they didn't drill tightly enough to mine with success in general at Madsen, and so they definitely didn't drill tightly enough to mine with success at McVeigh in this complicated area. But we are comfortable that our approach, which is based in very tightly spaced drilling, will unlock the value in McVeigh, and these results show why we are so motivated to do so. I should also note that McVeigh is really close to surface and it's rich in infrastructure, which is a way of saying it has lots of tunnels to give access for mining. And so it's a great area for us to be defining mineralization that's ready for us to tap early in the mine life. Okay, that was the result from last week. This week, we announced a bunch of new targets across the Madsen property that we generated in our regional mapping and sampling program in 2024. Now, for many of the years that Madsen has operated or seen work, the focus has been almost exclusively on finding more gold right around the mine. A few other deposits were discovered, mostly southwest along trend from the mine, but they didn't get a lot of attention. And that's all fair enough. Miners got a mine, so they look for gold near the mine. But this is Red Lake. The rocks of Red Lake as a district have yielded 30 million ounces of gold over the years. This is a very rich area. Now, the irony of rich deposits is just what's happened at Madsen. The rich deposits that are known get all the attention, leaving similar rocks that are close by often lacking in exploration eyes. Now, Great Bear's big, big discovery, which is only about 50 kilometers to the southeast of our Madsen property, is a really good example. There hadn't been much attention to the Confederation Rock Package, which makes up half of the Red Lake District in most modern time because gold had generally been found in the Balmer Rocks. Now, Great Bear really turned that notion on its head when it made its discovery in the Confederation Rocks, and in doing so, it opened up a huge opportunity to find gold in the other half of the Red Lake District. And so our regional work in 2024 focused on the Confederation Rocks, which make up half of the Madsen property. And the effort yielded six targets that all have strong geochemical signatures that look just like the chemical fingerprint that sits in the soils just above Madsen. Now we knew about one of those targets already, the North Shore target, where we drilled last year based on another geologic rationale. That work had already returned promising results and this new information has given us a more refined target to test. And we're really excited about the other targets as well. Now our mine plan at Madsen shows six years of full production. We believe there is strong potential to operate this mine much longer than that based on the resources that we already have in hand that aren't yet in the mine plan and based on the potential to make new discoveries. And so we're working on making new discoveries right now even while we put most of our attention into getting Madsen up and running.